Hi guys, welcome to a short video about what you can do if you are having performance issues with a wireless uh, LAN printer. So like in this case here we have an old uh, Canon, it's a MX922, something like that and it has always been really good but it gets slower and slower or at least it looks like it's uh, getting slower and slower i don't think that there is something built in like i mean they could uh, add something and saying yeah okay make the wireless lan slower after a couple of years so people are buying new stuff yeah it could be but i think it's not the case here the problem is that it's not supporting like the wireless adapter of the printer is not uh, supporting all the new standards and so when you have a new router then uh, it's creating some problems and then the router is throttling down the speed of the wireless connection to this printer and so what i have done in my case to solve this issue i have been using a wired connection so here we have it on the table so i've been using an ethernet cable from the computer uh, to the printer but you cannot use a normal cable i mean there's a possibility to buy something you would have to buy a crossover ethernet cable that's available on amazon and everywhere as well but it's usually a cable which you don't need otherwise so if you don't need it anymore you can basically throw it into a uh, trash or if you are doing gaming like computer to computer i mean it's not a bad thing to have something like that but what you could also do is have one ethernet cable here and then go into a router or actually it's more like a switch uh, this is not a wireless thing it's just like 10 or 20 dollars it's just a normal ethernet switch you plug it in in port 1 from here then port 2 from here to the printer and this has been working really good sometimes you have to remove the printer when you go into the printer setting of your uh, windows you hit the windows key uh, and then just type printer uh, like here down and then it goes to printer and scanners and you can see uh, what you have installed already and after doing such a change or switching from wireless to wired it is usually recommended to remove this device you click here and then you click on yes and then after that you click on the plus icon make sure you can detect the printer in the wireless settings and then usually you can add this thing easily again so this has been working really good but this is not uh, like the final installation which i wanted to have it like on my table wired so what i have done here i have cut the wire here from the switch actually to the computer but i kept the wire to the printer so how is this possible i can show you that so this is what i have done here I have installed a power LAN adapter this is really cheap costs maybe $15 or so and then of course you have to uh, use same thing on the router side you have to also uh, attach such a ethernet cable uh, on your router and then go into next uh, power outlet uh, add this thing here exactly like this from the router and you do the same thing here uh, on the printer side and now it's connected similar to this thing here more or less like a wire thing it's just going now from the computer it's going to the router uh, without a wire it's wireless but this uh, communication has always been good there's no problem because i can reach the internet and uh, anything really fast the problem has only uh, been the wireless connection between the printer and the, the router this is where we have to work on so we can replace the wireless connection i mean this is possible for i would say 99 percent of the printers which have wireless they have also a wired connection and then uh, yeah here we can see these things on amazon uh yeah here we have some really nice things AV600 I think there's even an AV1000 available from TP-Link for about $35 yeah, I'll put down the links to these things uh, on Amazon into the description down there uh, so you can click on that and order something 
uh, for you. This is really helpful if you have more problems like even with connecting computers to the internet you can use that too. Let's say you have a home which is on uh, different levels, different stories or you have just other uh, dark spots uh, wireless dark spots in your home or apartment or wherever you need that that's really cool can really be helpful and i have had a lot of success in the past i can highly recommend this thing for you so for us that now really works and so i hope it will work for you too if you have any questions or comments or other solutions just let me know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time